Hi, I'm Jeffrey Seaman and I play slide guitar. I had a lucky start to my musical career in the form of a one in a million opportunity as a teenager. I got to work at a rock concert hall called the Ludlow Garage in Cincinnati, Ohio. The garage reopened last year and I had a chance to play a show there last December. Here's a little bit of the story. I'd played the guitar about six years at that point. I was, in good, I was far enough along that I could do something with it, you know, to, to watch the artists that came through here. And so, I mean, B.B. King, Joe Walsh, Donnie Winter, Carlos Santana, you know, it was just crazy. And I would get to meet them every weekend, you know, watch them play. And then one Thursday night, I was going right around the stairway right here to get ready for the almond someones from somewhere in Georgia. <laughs> and so I come upstairs and there's, you know, they've never played here before. There's nobody in the building. And the Almond Brothers started playing Trouble No More. And I was like, so I sat right in front of the stage for, I don't know, 20 minutes. I was, I'm sure I was late getting everything done because I just sat in front of Dwayne Almond. I met him, I don't know, four, five, six times here. He probably thought I had a single digit IQ because I was like, ah, 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 ah. <laughs> Jumping ahead, countless hours of working at slide guitar took me from younger bands to a group called Wheels that had a long, healthy run in Ohio, Kentucky, and Indiana, releasing our own album, signing to a major label, and at times playing for crowds of eight to 10,000 people. for the music scene years ago and after arriving here I became more attracted to playing acoustic 12 string slide guitar and started composing more material for it. Then a few years ago I caught the bug for making YouTube videos and started putting some of this material out on the internet.
article about what Will Ackerman, the Grammy-winning founder of Wyndham Hill Records, was up to, and I sent him a few of my YouTube links. A couple of emails later, he wound up saying that my slide guitar work would be a fun new twist for him, and he'd like to make a CD with me, and thus was born Everything in Between. It's now out on Harpeth River Records, it's in the iTunes and Amazon Music stores, and it's on Pandora. Here's part of one of the tracks. The way I currently do my live solo shows is that I use something called a looping pedal, which allows me to do several things. One of them is that I can play a rhythm guitar part live for the audience, and then come back and improvise and play melodies on top of it, like this. Another is that I bring ensemble tracks with me, recorded in my studio, minus the lead guitar or melody part, which I then play live for the audience. Like this.
doing these solo guitar shows because they're more intimate performances. It feels more like we're all in my living room. So I have two 12 strings because if you're playing a set and you have a six string and you have to retune it, you can kind of talk through that. Right? You cannot talk through retuning a 12 string. <laughs> Don't even try. I'm Jeffrey Seaman. I play slide guitar and I hope to enjoy one of my shows with you. Thanks for watching.